Welcome. Let's solve this question on logarithms. Without using a calculator or mathematical tables, evaluate log of 100 minus log of 36 divided by 2 log of 25 minus 2 log 9. So let us go straight to the solution. And you're going to begin by the numerator. So let us uh, begin with the numerator. For the numerator, we have log of 100 minus log of 36. Before we continue with this question, you must understand some basic laws of logarithms. Those are the laws that are going to assist you in solving this question. So I'm assuming in the previous chapter, you have already looked at uh, some of the basic laws of logarithms because you're not going to repeat them in the question. You're just going to apply them directly. Like um, for the numerator, log of 100 minus log of 36 we can write that one as a single log and uh, that one will be given by log of 100 divided by 36 that is um, when you write log of 100 minus log of 36 as a singular log uh, when you look at this we can simplify 100 divided by 36 Divide both the numerator and the denominator by 4. And so you'll have this one as a log of uh, 100 divided by 4, you get 25. Then 36 divided by 4, you get 9. Uh, then from there, there's something else that you notice. That 25, you can write 25 as a 5 squared. Then you can also write a 9 as 3 squared. Like that. Or you can write it like this, eh? log of 5 over 3 squared, which will simplify again. We are applying another basic law of logarithms. Log of 5 over 3 squared can be simplified to 2, this power jumps down here, 2 log of 5 over 3. So you can leave it at that point. Or you can write it as uh, 2 into brackets log of 5 divided by 3 can also be written as log of 5 minus log of 3 so that is uh, the numerator now let's Simbo. go to Simbo. the denominator Simbo. and see how we are supposed to solve that so for the denominator we have 2 log of 25, so 2 log of 25 minus 2 log of 9. Now this one, the first thing that you notice, we have 2 which is common in both 2 log of 25 and 2 log of 9. So you factor it out so that you have uh, 2 into brackets. So you remain with the uh, log of 25 minus log of 9. After factoring out 2, there's something else that you notice. That this one, again, you can write log of 25 as log of 5 squared. Then log 9 can be written as log 3 squared. Like that. Again, you can simplify whatever is here. Log of 5 squared can be written as 2 log of 5. Then log 3 squared can be written as 2 log of 3. That is why I said the basic laws are very important when you're approaching this question. Now from there, there's something else that you notice. 2 is common again. You can factor out 2. And when you factor out 2, you will have you bring it out. You have now 2 multiply by, already you have another 2, so you're bringing another 2 outside the bracket, so you have 2 times 2. Then here you remain with uh, log of 5 minus, here you have log of 3. So this will give uh, 2 times 2, you get 4. Then um, you have log of 5 minus log of 3. And that is all about the denominator. So denominator is there, then the numerator is there. So now it is time to write the answer. The answer will be given by the numerator was uh, 2 
log to brackets log of 5 minus log of 3 then for the denominator we got 4 log of 5 minus log of 3 like that so definitely there's something that you notice here that log of 5 minus log 3 both numerator that one will divide out and uh, you'll be left with 2 divided by 4 and that one will simplify to a half so the solution for that question Simbo. is Simbo. 1 Simbo. over 2 without using a calculator or mathematical tables